Hello and welcome to the first in our ADAPT webinar series looking at the basic introduction to using your ADAPT system. In this first webinar we're going to be looking at things you may do starting your day. When it comes to logging into your ADAPT system you will be given a unique username and password. Should you forget the password, then you can always use the forgotten password link here to receive an email to reset that. Should you try to log in three times with failures, you may need to contact your administrators or client services team to have your login unblocked. But everything being fine, simply click continue to take you into your system. When logging into your system, you will notice that the ADAPT desktop agent automatically connects with your Outlook. This desktop agent means that your ADAPT will work in conjunction with your Outlook when it comes to sending emails and booking calendar appointments. Our initial screen view here includes, over on the left hand side, our menus. And we can simply hover over those to see further contents within them. If you have any records open, these will also be accessible via the menus here. A very quick and easy way to get about the system to records you've recently been looking at. Along the top, you'll also notice that we have a work stack. This is all the records you currently have open. And again, they're easily accessible, easily closable, and also very easy to close all of them as well. We have a reminders, where these can be snoozed or dismissed. And we also have tasks as well. Any calendar appointments you have for that day will also show in our calendar reminders here. The first option we have of finding records is here in our fast find. You should check to make sure that this is pointing at the right type of record that you're looking for. For instance, at the moment, candidates is selected. This will only search through candidate records for what you put in here. You can put the whole name of the person or job or client. You could also use a part word search, making sure that you use the asterisk and at least three letters that you're looking for. Once you've added that in, simply click on the search icon to find the record you're looking for. And that is easily accessible by clicking on the person ID and that will then take you into that person's record. Other record finding options we have are over in the menus and under each section you'll notice that we have home. This is another way of finding those particular records where we can choose the type and here in people we can search for both contacts these are people working at our clients and also candidate types as well and you can select more than one should you wish to cover all the options you do not need to use the asterisk as a part word search you can simply type in the first three letters and click find in this section, you also have options to search by email, postcode, and others. Clicking find will then look through, in this case, the permanent candidates and looking for the person there. The columns that may help you to distinguish people with perhaps the same name can be reformatted 
via the reformat option just here. This is the same for all searches throughout the system. We can see what we currently have at the top and we can double click on items down the bottom to move them and include that column as well. We can also remove columns and adjust the order of the columns. Please make sure you click apply to be able to see those changes take place. To enter a person's record from here, simply click on the person's name and you'll see that that is slightly blue color, again displaying links throughout the system to get to that record. Studios or dashboards are a great piece of your ADAPT system. They work in conjunction with the work that you're doing throughout the rest of the system and collate it all in an easy to find and easy to read location. This is accessible via My Adapt, My Studios, but as we saw when you first log in, it will open up to the studios you were last looking at. In this particular instance, you can see that I have a multicolored and layered studio full of eight dashboards. I'll show you how to create these shortly. We also, over on the right hand side here, as you can see, have 16 system studios. And of course, you can use these as well. There are ones that relate to all jobs. There are ones that are specific to business development, contract business, contact with regards to what's happening with jobs, clients and contacts, new candidates, permanent and temp as well. To access studio, simply click on it and then that will bring the information through. On any studio that has three or more uh, dashboard sections, you are able to open and minimize each section to make it easier to view the one that you want to view. Your own studios, you can do an awful lot with, for instance, we have here one I've set up looks after my permanent business. You may have one that looks after temp and contract. You may have one that covers all areas and types of work. To create your own studio, start off by clicking on the pencil with the plus. This gives you a standard new studio with a 2x2 two two layout. To rename your studio, in this instance I'm going to create a temp studio. Simply highlight and overtype the name. You will notice we have four tabs over here on the right hand side. We're going to move to the second tab and choose the layout that we want. And for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to choose my one here with three bars. Now to start with, it only displays one, but this is the one that gives me the opportunity to add up to 10 different dashboards within this one studio. Something that I can easily work through to view my priorities for that day. Go to the third tab, Available Widgets, to then select what you'd like in your studio. For me, I'd like to know what open jobs I have to fill. So I'm going to click on Open Temp Jobs and drag that and drop that into the box like so. This then brings through all open temp jobs that are on the system. What I want to do 
is personalize this to me. You'll notice I have some filtering options here, region, office, team, and also consultant. I could select a team from the list and see all the teams open temp jobs, but I'm going to select my name, clicking the tick there to initiate the filter. And now you can see it's just the jobs that I am looking at. I can also format the columns. Click on the drop down next to the number in brackets and then double click on all that you want to see. If you bring something across that you do not want, simply highlight and move it back over to the left. There are options to monitor revenue in here as well. Once you've chosen all you wish, click the tick to initiate those columns coming in and be able to view the information. Other things that exist here, the plus on the far left will show you any candidates that are associated with a role. It will also give you further options next to the candidate names to log calls and send emails to them, as well as progress them through the workflow. We're going to be having a look in more detail at that in webinar number five, which looks at the recruitment workflow. Other options we have in here against the job, you can see that we have call and email options, a search and status and the ability to close the job from here. Changing the color is done through the settings and we can see it says change colors. We can here change the border of that dashboard and also if we wish the text color within as well. Once you have set that up how you want it, you can minimize this particular band and bring another across. The next one I might like to see could be the people who I have out working, my temp bookings. Now for this, I'm gonna hold this underneath where I'd like to put it, and you can see that green line. Once that green line is where you want it, let go to insert that particular dashboard as you need it. With this one, of course, we do have the filters by region, office, team and consultant again. We also have date filters as well. So you can look at bookings for a particular week or particular date range. We can look at assignment statuses. You may only want to look at current assignments. And of course, as before, we have a formatting option to look at the columns that you would like displayed. Don't forget about changing the color to suit. And then once you're done, minimize that particular. Again, just to show you a couple more interesting ones on the temp side here. We have the starter studio, so you can see who's coming up to start roles and also a workers coming off assignment, which will show you as it suggests, workers who are coming up to finish their assignments. Click and drag them into position that you want them to be in. And don't forget to filter and format the information as well as change the colors if you wish. Once you've completed building your studio, simply click on available studios to view this and other studios that are available to you. The final section I'd like to talk about here is accessible via MyAdapt Home. This gives you an overview of upcoming appointments, your to-do list or task list, access to recent searches, and also a history of records that you visited. To look at the client visit, simply click on the link and that will take you into the diary where you can then simply click 
to see the details of the visit and have links to the associated records. You can delete or edit appointments in here. This will also then copy across to Outlook and either delete or edit the appointment there as well. With regards to tasks, the follow-up call scheduled here, simply click on the task to look at the details. Once completed, you can mark it as completed here and click save to save that as completed. You'll notice that now disappears from your task list. Within each task, of course, you have access to associated records by easy clickable links. Access to searches, simply click on the link here to take you in to the details of the search. We're going to be looking more detail at searches in webinar number four of this series. And there we are, that concludes this particular webinar. Don't forget, as I've mentioned, other webinars in the series to help you get started with your ADAPT system. Further support can be got at clientservices at eRecruit.com.